John Morgan here with Bob's Market and Greenhouses. And as you can see on my noggin, it's Halloween. And this week, I'm going to be showing you how to carve a pumpkin. And I've actually got one of our pumpkin carving kits. So, the first thing you need before you start is a pattern. So we're going to be doing this uh, Star Wars inspired pattern. So the first thing we need to do is transfer our pattern over to the pumpkin. And it's kind of hard because your pattern's on a flat sheet of paper and pumpkins are somewhat spherical. So, you know, it just doesn't, doesn't fit that well. Um, there are a couple ways to do this. Uh, one way is to kind of make cuts and bend the pattern and tape it on and then use this little scoring tool uh, to mark off the pattern. Uh, what I did is I printed a couple of these patterns and then cut out the pieces that I need uh, to transfer the stencil onto the pumpkin. So I'm actually going to use these and use a pencil to very lightly pencil on the pattern. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now and I'll see you in a few seconds or maybe minutes. All right, now that we have the design transferred, it's ready to start the dirty work. So we need to cut out our opening in the top. And a hint for doing this is to notch out a V-shape in the back, and that lets you align the top properly when you go to put it back. So to do this, using the kit from Bob's Market, we're going to need the drill to get a starter hole, our rough cut saw. There's two different sizes of saws. This is the larger one. There's also one for finer detail. And we'll also need the little scoop uh, to scoop out the seeds and all the pulp inside. And something that I need to get is a bowl to put all that stuff in. Um, and actually we're going to save it and I'm going to show you something that you can do with the seeds a little bit later. So, let me get started on that. So you'll notice as I'm cutting, I'm actually going in at an angle in relation to the stem. And that's to leave a little ledge inside for the lid to set on later. Alright. And now that we have our lid cut, there we go, we can start the icky job of cleaning out all the goodies inside. But as I said before, we want to save all this because we're going to roast some seeds later. So it's time to break out the little scooper tool. Okay, I've just now started working on the carving and what I did first is I went through and drilled pilot holes to help get my saw started. So right now it might look kind of like a little bit of gibberish but hopefully you'll see what I'm doing the farther I go along. And right now I'm using the rough cut saw but there's also, let me grab it here, a um, a little bit of a saw that has a finer blade for doing more finished detail. But the important thing is just to take your time. Alright, I finally got it done. So, here is the finished Trooper O'Lantern. It really wants you to join the dark side. 
Um, anyhow, what I'm using inside, instead of a candle, which, you know, is kind of unsafe, I'm actually using an LED candle, so it gives you the same effect. Let me kill the lights and show you. So, here's my completed jack-o'-lantern, all lit up. And, of course, I think the hardest thing was his uh, little mouth right here, but it turned out pretty good overall. Alright, so now it's time for the final step in our jack-o'-lantern making process. And it doesn't really have anything to do with the jack-o'-lantern, other than the fact that we saved the seeds that we got from it. So, earlier, I took the seeds and separated them from the pulp and rinsed them in a colander and saved them so now we can roast them and get a nice tasty treat. And to do that, to start off, we need to preheat our oven to 325. So let me grab the camera now so I can show you the other steps. To prepare our seeds for roasting, I'm just going to season them very simply. Um, I'm just going to coat them with a little bit of olive oil and just a touch of salt. So let's add just a little pinch of olive oil and kind of shake it around here and get it mixed in. And then we'll add some salt. And the salt's one of those things that I kind of tend to go overboard on sometimes, so I'll wait and see how that is, and then if I want to add some later, I might do that. And now that I have them evenly coated, I'll just spread them out on a cookie sheet that I've put some uh, parchment paper on. And parchment paper is just an awesome, awesome thing if you're cooking. Um, it has like a bazillion and one uses. So let me turn the camera off so I can get these last few little guys loose. Come on. And now that I have them spread out fairly evenly, I'm going to put them in the oven for about 25 minutes. So let me go ahead and start my timer there. And um, actually I think I hit stop. There we go, now we're counting down. But I'm going to check on them about every 10 minutes and give them a little stir. And Gypsy's also helping out in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, and here we have our finished pumpkin seeds. So now all I need to do is just let them cool and they'll be ready to go into, I don't know, a little container or a Ziploc bag. So, turn out quite tasty. For this, another great information, Visit us online at bobsmarket.com.